guys, so it's time for another episode of Japan Dake, only Japan. So recently, I've gotten really into this juice, I guess. A while back, I got sick, and my throat was really hurting, I was just like, I need something bitter, but I want something yummy. So I go to my school's konbini, and I see this thing called salt and lemon. Salt and lemonade. It's literally salty lemonade. I know it doesn't sound very good. When I first saw it, I was just like, that is so weird. Japan, why? Why do you make salty lemonade? Why? But then I remembered last year I drank salty lychee juice, I think. And I was just like, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the same brand. So maybe this brand will be better in their salty drinks. So I bought it and I've grown addicted to it. So every day at school, I make sure to buy my salty lemonade and I've sort of kind of started a cult in school. So this salty lemonade is salty, but it's not overly powerly salty. That's the thing. It's just like you drink the lemonade and then you feel it. Like, you feel the tinge of salt. Cancels out the bitterness of lemonade. Even though this is not completely all lemonade, it's 3% juice. So it's like water, salt, and 3% lemonade. I want to bring 30 of these back to the States. It's just really good lemonade. Ah! I'm gonna drink it now, even though I shouldn't. kind of just bought it for this video, though. But it's just, like, you drink, you feel the lemonade, and then a tinge of saltiness. It's it's weird, but in a good way. I swear. It's just such a good lemonade. Another thing about Japan is their themed sweets. And I was at the store buying, you know, things. I was, you know, going through the snack section, even though I told myself I was not gonna eat any more snacks in Japan. I saw a whole section dedicated to Frozen. Frozen's like what, three years old? Now like why are the, why do you still have frozen snacks? Like I would understand if you had frozen snacks when Frozen started. They're still here. So it's Bourbon Ellie's double cast, meaning that it has two parts and it's chocolate and white chocolate. And it's Elsa. And in the back we have Olaf. Comes in this cute little package with Anna and Elsa and Olaf in the back. Here. Oh no, it's like little waffles. Oh, it's not what I thought. It's okay, so it's like a waffle cookie thing, right? And... This part's vanilla. And this part's chocolate. It just tastes like a waffle cracker cookie thing. With chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate's not very good. It's just like dollar store chocolate. I mean, I did pay a dollar for this, so... These are not very good. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Wow, that was disappointing, Anna and Elsa. We should ha, let it go, let it go. Let Frozen go for now. Don't buy these. So yeah, those are the few, well, there's a lot more things that I find really interesting in Japan that I've not actually filmed because I eat them before I get the chance to film them because I'm not very bright. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment, say hello, and yeah, see you next time.